Baka, tell us, tell our viewers about your background. So I, I come from a diverse background. Um, I uh, migrated, myself and the family migrated to Australia in 97 due to the war in, in Iraq. Um, it was a tough time back then and sort of leaving the country, uh, just leaving all our stuff down there and coming here just ourselves, uh, starting from scratch and basically you come into an alien country, you didn't know the language and all that kind of stuff. So it, it, it was tough um, and I thought I'll give back to the community and uh, joining the CFA um, from a young age is the best thing I ever did and I love it. Every day I come here, every day I wear this symbol, I absolutely love it and I hope to make a career out of it in the future. So the reason I joined CFA because I didn't feel included. Um, so I thought to myself, let me join an organisation. So I chose CFA. Um, since I chose CFA, especially Craig and Fire Brigade, it's an integrated station. So there's career staff and volunteers working together. Um, and it, it's brilliant. So it's, it's that family-based orientation, um, the camaraderie. Um, every, every time I come to the station, it's like a brother's coming or a sister's coming. Um, and it's fantastic. You know, just last night, we were sitting down in the mess room having dinner with the career staff. And the reason, the personal reason why I wanted to join, because I wanted to feel included, um, I wanted to make a difference, and I wanted to give back to the community. Um, not many often where you leave your home, your family, you come to a second home, another family. So I think this is great, and I love it. Um, Craigieburn is unique. We're situated, we're situated in the northern suburbs. Um, in the northern suburbs, there's a lot of, um, people from the Middle East, basically where I come from. And my first language is Arabic. Um, second is obviously English. Um, every one in five calls we go to, um, I had to use my second language in interpretation, help calm the situation down. Um, it's, I, I personally I think it's valuable. Um, the Korea staff think it's uh, fantastic and it's valuable to them as well. So, and. It, it's a career where I want to pursue in the future to use my skills and not lose it. Um, I, I can give you an example where um, two weeks ago we went to um, a motor vehicle accident. Um, there, there was a father and his kids where he didn't um, basically understand English. And I, I, I was there and I, and I knew, I sensed that he there, there was a language barrier. Um, so I went over um, and, and I spoke to him in my own language. And, the sense of calm, looking at, at his eyes and he's looking back, it's, it's, I know he's feeling like, okay, I can trust him, um, he's one of my own and all that kind of stuff. So it's, I, I want to try to break that barrier where the people, the community can trust the emergency services. Hi, my name's David Maxwell, the OIC of the Craigieburn Fire Station and uh, I'm obviously the OIC of, of the station that Barker is a part of. Uh, Barker has been an integral member to the Craigieburn Brigade. He uh, is always adaptable to change, he's always available to assist the Brigade uh, throughout any of its activities, including operational activities, community safety activities and any fundraising activities that might involve uh, his, the utilisation of him and, and of other members of the Brigade. Uh, Barker's operational skills are excellent. He's, he's been working with us for some time. I remember when Barker joined the Brigade uh, and he's, he's furthered his skills ever since that time. Uh, I wish Barker all the best in his future with the, with the Brigade. Uh, 